So hopefully you've managed to take in a couple of the videos that I posted on YouTube. Uh, the Molly Grogan one, which I know is poor quality, but hopefully you, you saw it right to the end. And, um, and then uh, my interview with uh, Tim in Malibu. Um, tough work, um, but you know sometimes you have to jump on a plane to, to do these things right. So uh, I want to go back now to um, how you can start to use um, the inner game of golf. So Tim says a few things I think that are quite important and pivotal. He basically says that talent plus skills minus interference equals performance. So talent is this... I, I don't know what talent is for sure. What I do see is some people are able to do incredible things with their body that I haven't got a belief to sustain and support. Whether that be in gymnastics, athletics, whether that's the anatomy, whether it's because they've got the right type of muscle, they've got the right length of arm compared to upper body, or whether they're neurologically programmed to be more aware of themselves. So that would mean that I was I was quite surprised once I I, I, took, I was talking to a, a professional female golfer and she actually says that she can see the club head club face hit the ball, which is pretty extraordinary to me uh, because like I make a swing and I, I didn't know what had even happened. Um, let alone uh, look up quickly enough to see that, that where the ball had gone left, right, or occasionally straight down the middle. So it, it kind of like implied to me that, that either she was um, knew what it was doing and therefore she was seeing what she thought it did, or she could actually do it. It really didn't matter. I knew, I know that there is somehow a substantial difference between those sportsmen that have talent and those that has less. To some degree, this may have been spurned by early play. So in other words, the more that we maybe did throw a ball or catch a ball or play a sport, then the brain had that chance to learn these movements. We've certainly seen examples of sportsmen's sons and daughters um, uh, becoming quite successful in that sport. But was that the whole thing? Was that the education, the mentoring? So ultimately, all I will say is that talent is the one stationary factor here. It, it, it is what you have and what you've got. Skills. Skills are those techniques that you've learnt that perform automatically as required. And then interference. Interference is all those things like trying, fear, hitting shots with hope and fear being the drivers. That causing tension, that causing the muscles not to work, that causing us to lose focus. So whatever the performance will be, it's going to be lessened by interference. So if we can take interference out of that equation, we're going to maximise what talent we have with the current skill will give us a level of performance. Now, for me, when I've trained the coaches, it's that we have to remove this interference before we actually know what skill we need to change or add to get the performance. It doesn't make sense not to get rid of the interference before we change this. Because if we change this and the interference is there, the performance is still going to be less than more. So Tim Galway uses a specific word and he's used it in the Molly Grogan tape and that's try. 
as soon as we try and do something, we're adopting a process and a strategy which is no, nowhere near as effective as allowing the body to discover what it is that feels really good. The initial method that I chose, and I chose to introduce as a coaching method, was the back hip method. And simply stated, this was the idea that someone made a swing, uh, on the, and at the top of the back swing, they shouted out a loud back. They came down, hit the ball, and shouted out the word hit. There was four factors to, to answer then. When they said back, was it at the moment that it reached the top of the backswing, was it before or after, and the same with hit. And then the next one was tonality, not loudness or softness, but the tonality. So was it back, was it stretched, or was it back, was there no tension in there at all? And the mere fact that people were asked to put their attention in somewhere other than the ball and the target and the golf swing led to dramatic improvements into the player's ability to play golf there and then. I will go into this um, a little bit deeper um, tomorrow and I can show you exactly how to set that session up. In the meantime, just uh, pick up uh, um, the, the inner game book maybe online um, or um, you can you can uh, you can you can purchase the, a tape of it. There's all sorts of ways to find more about the inner game of golf. Do a little bit of research, and then I'll further this back hit method tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Stay safe.